So fun fact about beards, it's estimated that once a man reaches the age of 55, he'll have spent about 3,350 hours or about 139 days just shaving his face. So save yourself the time and grow a beard, right? Well, that's if you can grow a beard. And many people out there wonder when their beard will grow, if it's too late to even try, and a whole bunch of other questions that we're going to answer today. And specifically in this video, I'm going to answer the question, when does a beard stop growing? And give you kind of a rough timeline of the peak areas of beard growth and how your beard growth tends to behave through the years. Now it's worth saying that beard growth relies on a variety of different factors, right? I mean, there's your nutrients and diet, there's the amount of testosterone you have naturally, even whether you spend lots of time in the sun or in the ocean or something like that can affect your beard growth. Today, all we can really do is talk about averages which will apply to most people out there and likely you watching this video. So when does beard growth end? Now the answer to that really isn't so simple. Now beard growth typically doesn't just end without first drastically slowing down over time. And the rate at which this occurs is different for pretty much every guy out there. However, for the majority, your beard growth rate and fullness will have reached its potential by age 35, and then things may slow down gradually after that. Now, this is more of a mystery than you might think. Some men may have their beards until the day they die. Some men will lose their beard a week after their 35th birthday, which is unlikely. But not to fear, the chances are you're still gonna have a beard for the foreseeable future at least. But maybe you clicked on this video and you're wondering when beards really do start to fill out. This answer is a lot more clinical and observed and a lot less reliant on just behavioral factors that vary from person to person. Typically you'll see a big difference in your beard between the age of your mid-20s and early 30s. This is when your beard growth is going to be at its peak in terms of fullness and at the rate at which it grows. But let's say you're in that kind of area right now, you're still not happy with your beard growth, like what can you do about the first thing we can suggest to you guys is to use minoxidil supplements. Now, minoxidil is the only clinically proven way to kind of stimulate hair growth in any certain area. And it first does this by stimulating the hair follicle. You may want to try that along with some like popular accessories like derma rollers. You know, those are like those pin rollers that you roll around your beard and you'll see ads for them everywhere. That's because doing that generally stimulates blood flow to the area, which can increase the amount of nutrients that your hair follicles have with which to grow. But the other thing that I'm going to suggest that you try first is going to be just adjusting the way in which you try growing your beard. This is what I had to do and it does work for me, so maybe it'll work for you. First, you need to understand that patches in your beard or thin areas in your beard that you may notice usually aren't really patches or empty areas. They're usually just areas in your beard in which the rate at which your hair grows is less or slower than other areas. And the contrast between these slow, empty areas and the faster growing areas just leads you to believe that you have patches that can't be solved. Usually though, there is at least some hair growth in the area and usually enough to completely cover the area if it has enough time to grow out. All you really need to do is trim the faster, longer areas of your beard to match the slower areas without trimming those slower areas. This way your beard will look even throughout the entire growing process and you're not having to worry about looking shaggy or unkempt everywhere, but it also gives the time for those slower areas Areas to grow out and overlap themselves and cover the skin and give you that kind of full look that you are probably wanting. Now this process just takes longer because you're waiting on those slow areas to grow out but then you'll have a full beard and trust me it's worth it. So overall that's it guys. Hopefully I answered some of your questions here today. Hopefully I gave you more information on what it takes to grow a beard, what kind of time frame you're looking at, maybe some helpful tips that you can use for growing your own beard if you're unhappy with it. There are tons of other videos on this channel where we give you a bunch more tips like this as well as really dive into some more of those questions. So if you like this video, go explore some of the other ones, subscribe to the channel. We've got videos coming out all the time. Overall, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.